This is Saturday Big Bands. I'm John Hellings. It's BBC Radio Stoke, Shropshire, Hereford and Worcester, and of course online as well. Now, if you like your music to have a theme attached, then the Debbie Curtis Radio Big Band is the one for you. Not only do they play the music very well, but they've also included a show atmosphere to complement the tunes. Now, Debbie, who is the leader of the band, will be fronting it on August the 3rd at the London Palladium, no less. That's a Sunday, and this was the scene of the Ted Heath Sunday Swing Sessions, which ran until 19. 55. In all, the band played over a hundred of these by the time that band, the Ted Heath Band, was ten years old. Well, I caught up with Debbie during the week and we had a chat about the band and this Sunday swing session. Plus, of course, a number of other things. start what happened i don't know what happened to me actually it all went terribly wrong um no i think um i was brought up with actually big band and opera uh, my mother was an opera singer and also um with the black and white minstrels which is awfully not politically correct probably these days no but it was very um, popular then. it was Gosh. and it was a fun thing as well yeah. um and um so i sort of grew up in the music industry um I didn't actually think I would probably go on to doing big band music, I have to say that. Um, although I didn't actually, I don't think I knew what I was doing. <laughs> no, well, I suppose children don't like their um, parents' music, do they, really? No, that's always the way. And well, one of the things I find with uh, big band stuff um, is that so many people said, oh, you know, we, we thought it was our parents' music, you know, and we came along to the show and realised we really liked it. Um, so I'm trying to get banned, really, because I think that's the best way. What's non-conducive seems to work brilliantly. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. getting harder and harder these days. You can do any old thing now, can't you, apart from the health and safety things? Well, the health and safety comes into it. Yeah, yeah I, I was, know, was trying, know. Sort of yes. wondering what to do with that one. Chicago, it's the baddest part of town. And if you go down there, you better just beware of a man named Glen McNamara. Now, meet Roy Brown, he's trouble. He stands about six feet four. All the downtown ladies call him treats of lover, the man they call him. I mean, you do more than just play music, don't you? You've got yeah. a whole show going. Yes, it's a musical extravaganza. Mm, nice. um, and I'm hoping that... Um, I'm, I'm trying to put the history, really, of big band music across without it being um, too boring, really. Um, you know, uh, sort of trying to bring in the Afro-American bit um, with the crossover of British. I try to play stuff from Kenton, Nelson Riddle, Ellington, Artie Shaw, Neil Hefty. But bringing in sort of things like um, Neil Hefty, who wrote the Batman theme... Uh, which so it brings yeah. it into today's, you know, a bit more understanding for, for young people as well. Otherwise, the audiences um, of this music, I actually personally think, will die out, which is, we don't want to happen. Um, one, one of the things we do in the show, although it's obviously references to things like wartime, diff different eras, the tuxedo, the gangsters, um, where you've got like Cab Calloway, um, you know, the Cotton Club. Uh, you can also use that reference with Cab Calloway from Minnie the Moocher, the Blues Brothers, so you can That's bring it, it yes. in without without losing the quality, um, but at the same time bring it in, into a slightly more, not exactly modern, but uh, uh, for, so people recognise things in it. That's right, yeah. You know, um, and then we've got the, uh, of course, Top of the Pops, Pop Pickers theme tune, <laughs> Brian Fay, sign yeah. of the swing is at the, at the sign of the swinging symbols. Um, and I've tried to bring things in that keep the quality there but will also interest young people to watch as in some dancers and um, we have some fezzes for song of india um which is quite good mm -hmm. yeah worcester saucer um, orientated from india with lord marcus wasn't it 1838 that's right <laughs> you, you've done your research <laughs> You're 
reviving something in in a way by the uh, doing the Sunday night at the uh, London Palladium, not the television show, but the, the Sunday yeah. swing sessions yes. that were around, gosh, in the early 1950s. And you're doing yeah. one of those on August the 3rd, aren't you? Yes, that's the London Palladium, August the 3rd, www.debbycurtis.co.uk. <laughs> it's a big <laughs> plug. Um, but yeah, originally they were, this is our second one at the Palladium, they were uh, done by Ted Heath, who was sort of like the pioneer of the Sunday night mm. swing sessions. Um, f funny enough, actually, it's, sadly, a lot of people think it's Ted Heath, the Prime Minister, and I have to explain it's not. Um, <laughs> it's the other, <laughs> at least it's the I other remember one. the name. Or Ted Heath, the Prime Minister, was the other one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the musical one was the first one, yeah. But, but the Palladium was built for that kind of music, you know, uh, right up from the Crazy Gang upwards, and it's retained, I, you know, the interior that has that is the home of that kind of sound. Um, it's a shame that there are no dancing in the aisles due to health and safety, um, but we can work <laughs> on that. I really, really am trying to be banned, and it's failing miserably. I've tried on about four television shows, and they just still kept me on they, they've they've kept you on they, like, oh. you will not be able to transgress no. as far as elf and safety is concerned no. yes i know <laughs> now also you've got with you uh, a name i must admit that's new to me and i don't know whether i'm pronouncing him correctly Corey conradi yeah that's right um okay, it's spelled right. k-a-a-r-e -A -A in sweden for the pronunciation of Corey. but you've done it beautifully um, for us in english yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that <laughs> Um, yes, he he's a he's another history-based um, musician. He's and I think he's got a fantastic voice. And um, you, by hearing him, you can't mistake him for anyone else. Um, even his version of Mac the Knife, it's you know it stands in its own right. Um, and he's got a he's got a lovely musical history. He's studied uh, big band music, um, very into musical theatre, and he uh, was the best man at the. Uh, Norwegian royal family wedding. I'm hoping they're going to come to the show as well. That well, I'm help. sure they've got tickets, yes. And I'll put them in the box like yes, the ones out the Muppets course. in the corner. They can heckle me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he did the original Swing Winnie Winning tour for Robbie Williams out in Norway as well, so he's a real sort of swing expert, you know. Just a reminder then, the Debbie Curtis Radio Big Band will be at the London Palladium for a Sunday night swing session on Sunday, August the 3rd. It starts at 6.30. If you'd like to find out more, there is a box office number, 844-412-4657, or the website that Debbie mentioned earlier, of course, www.debbiecurtis, all one word, .co .uk.